the Orlando Magic hired Jamal Mosley for four years. He's going to be the head coach for four years. They gave him a four-year deal. Now, how do I feel about this? I don't know because, you know, I really wanted other uh, coaches like Terry Stotts would have been better. At least he's been a head coach. This guy has never been a head coach. Now, here's the counter on that. He is good at player development is what I heard. And he was the assistant coach with Rick Carlisle. And Rick Carlisle is a great coach. And he's been with him for like seven years. So I hope that he's learned something from Rick Carlisle. Um, I don't know to be excited or pissed off because I always like to give people a chance. Um, he's not coming to a team that's, you know, fully loaded with talent. Yes, young talent, but no veteran leadership. Um, nothing's really expected from the Magic this year. They might not make the playoffs again this year. Um, just because there's a lot of young talent and it has to get developed. And he's going to have to do it. Can he do it? That's what I hope he can. Um, I'm going to give him a chance. But, man, I'm not that excited for this hire. Um, people are telling me that I'm wrong about that. People are saying he's really good at player development. You'll see. I really hope so because we have a young, good squad. Just really young. Like, RJ Hampton could be good. Wendell Carter could be good if he stays healthy. You know, Mo Bamba still hasn't really played that much. Maybe he'll get more minutes. I think that was the thing with Steve Clifford that they didn't like was the fact that he wasn't giving Mo Bamba minutes and the younger guy minutes. He'd always give veterans minutes like Vucevic, which you, he's supposed to do because Vucevic was just a lot better. Um, but we do need the young guys to play. All we have is young guys. So, you know, if this guy's good at player development, he's actually been with the Nuggets before and Cavaliers as an assistant. So he's been around. He's never been a head coach, though. That's what bothers me. So he really has no experience in this. But he has been an assistant head coach for seven years. So maybe that could transition into something being good. I'm not ecstatic with the hire. I know Penny Hardaway was dream. But I really wanted Penny Hardaway to come back to Orlando. That would have been great. Who knows? Maybe in the future that can happen. But yeah. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below what you think about this hire. I'm not excited. Um, I'm going to see what he does. Uh, Clifford was great when he came here for the first two years. Like, he got us to the playoffs quick. You know, the only problem was he didn't develop uh, a lot of the young talent we have. Now, I'm hoping this guy can do that because he has experience with player development. So, you know, I'm just going to try to be optimistic and hope he works out for us. I mean, I would have rather had somebody like Ian Mark Jackson because people make fun of Mark Jackson, but he was a head coach at one time. This guy's never been a head coach. But let's see what he does. Let's give him a chance. Some people say a really good move. Some people say, who's that? So you have, it's like 50-50. So tell me in the comments below, especially if you're a Magic fan. Even if you're not, it's okay. But if you are a Magic fan, tell me in the comments below what you think about this hire I'm not that happy about it, but I'm not upset about it. I'm just like, let's see where it goes. So please hit the like, hit the subscribe. See you around the bend and have a great day, everybody.